din prima merge la ăla. Ало, че ушли му сега? Ало. Ало, 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 ало. Празно огледало. Че ушли му? Ами да, аз сега те чувам. Ти нима ли чуваш? Ало. Ало, ало, трябва да ме чуваш. Мисля, вход има, виждам, има индикации на камерата. Явно нима чуваш, аз говоря. Да, аз те чувам. Ами... Готов си. Ето сега няма атмосфера тая камера. Канона. Еми ти може би чуваш на сънито атмосферата. Еми не знам, въпросът е, че в момента атмосфера има само от канона. А той ли от сънито, канона няма атмосфера, в момента в канона слиза само моята брошка. И има индикация, аз я виждам. Няма как, аз майката не съм изключвал. Еми да, коментаторът ти не е включен. Еми няма как, аз не съм изключвал майката.
Toronto. Toronto. I mean, Toronto, but you know what Проба, проба. Ето, брошката ти влиза в този канал. Това е толкова силно ли се чува, бе? Не, пута е задъл просто. Не. Да. Този кадър на кое? На кое? Сони. От там идва проблема. Аз мисля, че Сонито е тука. И не. Не ли се разбрахме, че Сонито е близкия фон? И аз за това казвам, че чува за такова. Ти си включи. Ти си сравнение, защото разминих ми кабелите. Да. Mai pui să alerg mult, bă! Nu mai încerca! Nu mai încerca! Ce? Dacă tu vrei, mergi în greșeală. Bă, dar nu mergi, bă, duc după ea! Sí, sí, sí. 
De muso, ai nevoie de apă acolo? E sigur? Vorbește cu băieții de la ploie să aibă grijă de tine.
jedna prepona do pola, od pola druga. Ajde. Samo brzo ide. Brzo ide. Ajmo sa strane, malo, samo lagno. Ajmo sad jedna nuga. Ajme, što dođe isto i dok što je to. Samo u lijevo prvo, u lijevo, ajde, opa, tu promjenu da se osjetimo, ajde, opa. Napravili smo taktiku fina po vas. Mijenjat ćemo se malo drugačije.
último colônio da Ja, dat is een 
Это садись, за бой We are getting ready for the first quarterfinal of the EMF Euro Cup here in beautiful sunny beach. And the first game is between the Romanian team, Reggio Liria, the Russian and Black, and the Montenegrin team, Daddy Gradnia, in Red. All quarterfinals are being played on pitch one, so stay tuned for some of the best mini football in Europe here in the EMF Euro Cup. So it's quarterfinals time here in Sunny Beach, Bulgaria, the EMF Euro Cup 2023. Got a massive game in store for you. Kicking off in a couple of minutes' time, 6 pm. Reggio, Liridia, Brasov in the black and multicolour Romanian team. And in the red, Daddy Grania of Montenegro. Both teams had an interesting route into the last eight. Last 16 was played this morning here in Sunny Beach, Bulgaria. Brasov, the Romanian team in black won 7-3 against SK Veska from the Czech Republic. Finished third in the group, so there was at risk of an early exit from the tournament, but there was given the best third place team, which means that there was given a pass into the last 16 this morning, and now, from on the verge of elimination, they find themselves in the last 
eight of the competition and in with a chance of getting to the semis tomorrow morning and maybe even dreaming about taking on this EMF Euro Cup. Their opponent, Daddy Grania, finished second in Group G. Um, drew 3-3 with Chedra Tax early in the day and the one 3-1 on pens. So it should be a pretty even game here. It's been a cloudy day in sunny beach, Bulgaria. The sun is shining now, though. It's cool, it's perfect temps for football. As the sun starts to go down, and I'm sure maybe even before the end of this game, we'll might need to use for a little bit of floodlight action. But this is the this is the stage we all want to watch. This is when the teams are not diluted. You, you're down to the quality. The eight teams remain. All will feel they have a chance of winning this Euro Cup competition. If you got this far down to the last day, they will all be confident of getting through and making the last four teams semi-finals, which will be playing in the morning. Busy day for us tomorrow, it's semi-finals in the morning and then a little break for dinner and then we're back around about half past three tomorrow for the third and fourth place playoff. And then the grand finale right at the end of the day around tea time. So it's a busy few days, these tournaments soon get to the knockout stage, just soon get to the the final. There's no rest for the teams. As they've had two games a day for the last two days. And they'll have another two tomorrow and it's a great early ball. Looking for his teammate on the left flank and it's not a bad effort to be honest. And free kick there, coming in from behind. So Brasov conceding free kick in their own half. And Danny Grania will be looking at maybe getting an early goal here. Been late short, and it's a strike, and the keeper's quite an unorthodox save. He's gone with his with his feet, but he's successful. He makes a save, and here comes Brasov on the break. Oh, it's a brilliant ball. He's got a runner down the side, and he gets him behind the defender, and he's fired a great shot, but the keeper's equal to it at the near post. And it's a corner. End to end stuff already here in this game. He's gone for the little chip to the back post. And he's looking to strike the ball at goal. So, Brass off. Possessing Daddy Grania uh, sitting here, make it difficult to beat you. Tend to find this, you tend to find you need a, an early goal in these kind of games to open the game up. And draw teams out, but there's a mistake there, and it's an opportunity, and he's hitting straight at the keeper, but they still have the ball, and he's rolled into his teammates. Good one, too. Good flick, the main business here. Another effort, another save, and they've got it again. It's a, it's like pinball in there. Yeah. Excellent football by Brasov. Putting Daddy Grania under serious pressure in the early stages. Corner gone to the back stick, the same again. Looking for the strike and it's another shot. Yeah. 
Danny Grang is under serious pressure in the opening moment of this quarter final game. Good forward play. He's not been tracked. He's got a runner to his left. He's balled it across and it's a save again. The keeper's earning his money so far. Still nil nil. Oh, chest backs, good football this, good to watch. Fast flowing. Really aggressive. Fast. Clinical. Oh! Keeper having a shot. And the team brass off from Romania. Mean business here. So Daddy Grangy just not had time to settle into the game. And they've lost the ball again. They headed back to the goalkeeper. So a little press here from Daddy Grangy on the keeper, trying not to allow him space and time on the ball. He's won it. It's great footwork. He's the referee was trying to play advantage. No advantage was got and he pulled it back for the free kick. Dangerous position. On the edge of the box, we've seen that Brasov have been pretty clever when it comes to the set plays already. Shots raining down on Danny Granger's goal. So, another dangerous moment for the team from Montenegro. Loads of movement. It's up to the strike. And from this angle, it was hard to see how close that was. But it's sailed behind, goal kick. And I love this aggressive. A lot of teams that I've seen so far in this tournament have adopted to sit in and make it difficult to beat, but not brass off. They're pressing high up the pitch to want to win the ball back as quickly as can, not allow Danny Grang at any time on the ball. It's a mistake there that led to a corner and the shot is tame and the possession is back with Brasov. It's good passing, good move. Danny Grang it up to press, but they've caught. Out of position. But... Oh, it's good footwork. He's beaten one. He's having a shot! And it's the opening goal! Great footwork! Takes on his man. There was space in front of the goal. He's up for the shot. He's hit it hard. He's hit it low. And he finds the bottom corner. And they've deserved it, Brasov. They've not given Danny Grang in a moment on the ball. Danny Grang, you find yourself 1 0 down. And Oh, I'll tell you what, that wasn't far off, was it? It wasn't far off at all. So Danny Grangin are now opting to press themselves, realising that they're not being allowed the time to settle on the ball. So they need to try and win it back. Have a bit more possession themselves. So Daddy Grant here yeah, now in possession, trying to find a foothold in this quarter-final tie. And he's kept it in. And he's found a man free in the middle. Oh, he's hit the outside of the post, and it was a real opportunity to hit back and make it 1-1. It's not very often you see teams find that amount of space behind the defence. 
in front of the opposition goal. It just shows you how much Brasov are pressing here, but they're on the break, and it's a, sh oh, it's a shot or a cross, but the keeper managed to get hands. It's a good turn, good use of the body, but unfortunately for him, it's a little bit too much legs in the ball. Couldn't keep up with it. So Brasov back in. Possession of the ball and Danny Grangin was treated into the own half. Two teams with very different setups without the ball. One wants to press, the other's happy to do the Jose Mourinho part of the bus. The problem we've got is they're losing one now. So the onus is on them to get the ball back, try to turn it, put brass off under pressure. And it's a great feat again, and he's having a dig, and it's another save. And I'd love to know the number of saves this keeper's pulled off. So far, in this opening exchange is the first 10 minutes of this game. He's been busy, kept a minute. Could have been more. So space again, the right flag. He's having a dig across goal. He's pretty tame that effort. Danny Grant could have gone long, but easily cleared by the keeper. And he's hit the full length of the pitch and he's gone out for a goal kick for Danny Grant. So Brasov are only allowing him to come so far before putting the press on. It's good footwork. He's won a corner. I don't think it was. I think even the daddy granny player has walked away as if to say it's just him that's kicked it out. But referee's decision is final. And out of nothing. We've got myself an opportunity with a corner. Ball to the back stick, looking for the volley. Connected really nicely with it, but just struck a brass off player that was stood in front. So another corner. A little bit of possession now for Danny Gray. Can they make the most of it? Oh, it's a brilliant effort, it's unlucky. Just wide of this near post. So Brasov back in possession. Good footwork. Oh, is, is it there? Oh, brilliant defending. Brilliant defending. The ball was almost inch perfect. Defender never gave up. Brilliant slide to send the ball out to touch. Oh, it's the claim in a handball. I don't think it's an handball. I mean, he's right on top of when he's kicked him. You know, they could argue there's a foot high. The local crowd are going mental here in support of the Romanians. Well, they might not be local, they might be from Romania, but they're going mad. But forget the handball. It was a glorious opportunity for the Brasov player to make it too, and he just couldn't. Get it past the keeper. Brasov. Oh, 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 he's trying to cut inside and take a shot from distance. They've won it back. The better of it in this first half, hence the 1 0 lead. You can see what he's trying to do there. It's clever football. It's just angles probably too acute there and playing it at the right pace to get past the defender and just asking too much of the, the right winger. Ball's gone long, the forward man is unable to get that under his spell, which leaves the ball back in possession of Brasov, and the keeper's having a stroll forward. 
It's a beautiful poise, this. For all the great work that we've seen from Brasov, Daddy Grandin is still very much in this game, and we know how goals change games, so they'll be hoping to stay in this, find an equaliser, and then hope that the football pendulum swings their way. Good footwork. Good play, very calm in possession of the team from Romania. Got space to run into. Good block. Teddy Grangina had the ball with a chance to attack, and it's good footwork. He's passed his man. Couldn't wrap his foot around the ball to get across into the opposition box to his teammate waiting for it. Rolls behind for a goal kick. And the keeper has to go along, it's a late challenge. And the referee signal a free kick. So he switch to play and it's straight to the hands of the goalkeeper. It's a spin and... Free kick's given. Didn't look a lot. And it to me, it looked like it was a bit of a slip. The referee has set the wall. Free kick to Daddy Grang. Opportunity. Rolls it across the box. Has a shot. Deflected out for a goal kick. Let's throw it. Got out for a throw, a goal kick. Good head. Good battling by these two. And again, look at this, it's beautiful. The press. No time on the ball. Series of free kick. Seems to be coming in the direction of Daddy Granger. Referee is asking him to take the ball. Back a few yards. So as we uh, approach the end of the first half. Oh, that's unlucky. A brilliant first half. Brilliant start to the quarterfinals. Here in sunny beach, Bulgaria for the EMF Euro Cup. Oh, ho, 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 ho. He's hacked behind him. He's, it is a free kick. Close though. Playing fire there in his own half. Because if he gets it off him fairly, it's, he's away. The ball's gone long, too long, too high. Can't be retrieved. And Daddy Grangy will take the throw in deep in their own half. Gone long. Easy for the keeper. He's thrown it out. Good first touch. He's won the ball. There's intent there. And oh, it's, it's unlucky. It's the right idea. Just, he just couldn't quite execute it. Those kind of balls have to go at a certain pace to stop them getting intercepted. And, just needed his strike power to be a little bit further up the field. Oh, that's brilliant football. What a one two. Oh, he's managed to keep it in. Oh, lucky there. Brilliant football. Nice one touch in tight spaces. Good feet. Good attempt. Good block. Goes out for a throw.
Pass. Trying to stretch. The Brasov team stand firm this time. Good interception. Gonna go for the throw. I thought he was gonna go long. He's gone short. Brasov doing brilliantly to nullify the attack, and there's a bit of a mistake there. It's a clear pull. What's the decision? So, he said it's a no red. I think in any other game of football, that is a red. He's through on goal. It's a goal scoring opportunity. He's been pulled back to deny him as the last man, and he's given a yellow. I'm going to have to check up on my, uh, my referee rules of the game for this six aside because my first thought there is he's, he's gone. But anyway, free kick. It's been blocked. And there we have half time. Brilliant first half. Scores at the break. Brasov of Romania. One, Paddy Grania of the Montenegro, zero. Join us in a few minutes, and um, we'll get back with the second half, which I'm uh, looking forward to. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. 
So, second half about to get underway here in Sunny Beach, Bulgaria at the MF Euro Cup. Both teams have changed halves, including the benches, which is customary in the six a side game. And allows for easier substitutes, especially if the teams get desperate towards the end of the game and the switch to keeper for a rush keeper. Which is basically an outfield player that covers in the net to give them an extra man on the ball and they're trying to chase the goals. Works successfully at times, but high risk, high reward. Seen it go wrong probably more often than not, though in my time over the last two weeks commentating here in Sunny Beach and last week at the EMF Champions League in Aradia, Romania. But it also can bear fruit, especially if you've got a keeper that's a bit of a whiz with the ball at his feet. Throw's been given the other way. The throw into Daddy Grania. And the press is on, he's looking for a forward pass. So you'll notice that in the second half that Daddy Grania are opting to put the press on. It's not quite as intense as a press from Brass off, but the pressing, they needed to press the well, there was a slap there. I've got to, you've got to ask the question of the referee. There's, they're coming together in the middle. And then the Daddy Grangian player has slapped him on the back, right in front of the referee. I don't know how he's missed it. And then he's booked the coach by the looks of things for asking the question of, you know, <laughs> surely you can't slap somebody. But he's missed it, so game carries on. Good feet. Got two on him though. Brasov with the ball back, and I think he's going to get it. I think he's going to keep it. Oh, what an effort! Brilliant work. Took on his man after winning the ball back. Had a shot across goal, and it wasn't far wide from Dimitrovici. Good effort, keep it down again, he favours it. Save him with the feet to his right hand side. So there's a slide tackle, free kick. And there's another yellow card being brandished for the brass off player. So Daddy Grant, you have an opportunity. There's some couple of players have got the handbags out in the goal area. Let's put them away, fellas. Let's get on with the footy. So, opportunity for Daddy Grania. Free kick. Looks based on where his teammates are stood that he's attempting a, a shot here. Oh, it's rolled out. They've not picked it up. He's been body checked. And the keeper is down with his feet. <laughs> Makes the save. Danny Grangy with the early chances here in the second half. Danny Grangy with a throw. They've got an extra problem here, actually, of um, brass off. The sun is really low in the sky and it's in the eyes of the keeper so it's going to add extra extra dangers extra pressure as his vis visibility is not going to be great for the remainder of the second half nothing we can do about that so throwing to brasov francis strike partner rolls it back to the keeper Vine Bichon! 
Ooh. Good work with the ball. Well done, ball team. Well done there. Drags a player out of position. Dimitrovic is, is the danger man, that's for sure, for Brasov. Great work with his feet, couldn't quite find the shot that he needed. Corner kick. Oh, sorry. I'm going for a corner. It's come for the other time, shot on the volley, and it's high, and it's wide. Score remains 1 0 here in the second half. To Brasov from Romania. Yeah. Daddy Grangi are playing themselves into problems there. We have to do better in possession to get back in this game. It's a good throw. It's just nice, it's controlled football by the Romanians. It was a lightning fast start to the second half for the team from Montenegro, but Brasov seemed to have wrestled back control in the last couple of minutes. Danny Grangin got to keep putting this press on, but it's kind of a half-hearted press. It's a jog over, and you've got to be on him quick, sprint to it. Oh, he's gone for it again. He's gone for the same thing that happened in the first half, but it's wide of the post. But Danny Grangin are going to make, going to use the press. They have to press it. It has to be faster. It has to be more intense. Because just jogging over, over is allowing loads of space in behind, which has been taken advantage of so far. But still remains 1-0. Still anybody's game, this. Look at the difference in the press. There, they're on the toes, they're bouncing. As soon as the ball goes left or right, the players close it, close it down. Look at the difference. Brilliant play though by Danny Grangin to play out that. Oh, it's almost sneaked through. They did well there, Danny Grangin. It's gone for a long throw to the right side. It's just a little bit too much on it. Look at the press again, it's intense. Song gives them no time on the ball, but they're doing well with it. It's better popping it about with intent. Oh, it's unlucky. Right idea. Free finds himself free there and he's snatched it in. I don't think he realised the amount of time he had there actually. If he'd have taken a touch or even let it just bounce again and then strike, might have got a better connection on it. But the chance is gone. See, that's better from number nine of Daddy Grania. Real intensity in the, in the press. Has to be. But he's only doing it, he's only, he's the only one putting the intensity into the press. The, his teammates are jogging to it and it's... Got to be quicker. These Romanians are good on the ball, they're using it quickly, cleverly. Interception, it's going to roll for him. Oh, great drop of the shoulder. It's a strike from distance, keeper is down. And it's a save. Brilliant pass to football. I know it's an age old saying, but the next game in this one is, is crucial. If it goes to Daddy Grania, then they will think that the tails will be up and they'll be back in it. But if it goes the other way, to brass off, it's hard to imagine a route back into it. But there's a chance here, and he's taking his man. 
He's got a man at the back post. Oh! Couldn't quite wrap his foot around the ball and it sailed. Not just over the bar, over the stadium. And straight onto the attack. Brass off at the other end. Fabulous effort. It was equal to it. And the ball drifts out. For a throw into Brasov. Couldn't wrap his foot around that one, and Danny Grangio will have the ball back in their own territory. So, again, just watch the intensity of the Romanians in the press. Look at them, they're like, they're like pack dogs hunting, sniffing out the ball. Not allowing them any chance to settle. And there you go, another example. Little touch knocks it out of play, and here they go again. Point on the press. That's again good football by the Montenegrins. But any little miscontrol, that's they're, in, they're on you. Give them no time. Oh, brilliant header. Had to make it. Had to get across his man using all his strength. Good football, good close, control, brilliant idea, unlucky, needed a bit more power but maybe was hoping to catch the keeper off guard because it wasn't expected. Daddy Grangino, again you see the, the, the intensity in the press at the top is not the same. Good challenge, they've got a man over here, they can find him. He's going to have a shot from distance. To... He's done well. No, no, no. Again, there's just. They allow him no time on the ball whatsoever. Stifled in possession. Oh, no. Mistake by the keeper, an opportunity for two. Oh, he's coming from behind. That's great feet. Great feet. He's done one. He's done two. Can he finish? Oh. Can't finish. The referee sees something. And they've got a free kick. In a dangerous, dangerous position. Still trying to find a way back into this game. And the Montenegrins. Here we go. They need this to stay in the competition. Effort, top corner! Takes a little nick, but they don't care. It's 1-1. And Brasov will not believe what's happened there. <laughs> so one one. All square. But the free kick, oh, there should have been an advantage played. It's a poor decision by the ref. Should have been awarded advantage because they did have a man over. So, Danny Grant, you have opted to go back into the park, the bus tactic. Oh, it's a brilliant strike, and the keeper just got enough to tip it over the bar. Only just. 
So corner kick, rolls it out. He's gonna have a strike. Oh, he's had a strike and dragged it wide. The scores are tied. And he's beat his man, he's got a player at the far post, keeper makes a save. Spilled them. Luckily for them, it's run out too. And it's one of the worst strikes you'll ever see after the incident. <laughs> that has gone over. I was speaking to one of the groundsmen yesterday, he was telling me that we had a shortage of balls last night because if the ball goes out of the stadium, there's a road nearby and if the ball has bounced near a local's car that has been driving by or anybody in a car might not be a local, but they're stopping, picking the ball up and putting it in the car and driving off with it. <laughs> That's a true story. So, I haven't spoke to the... Uh, the team in charge of the balls today to see who had to go out and replenish the stocks, but there was a genuine shortage of balls yesterday through uh, ones being stolen by the locals driving by in the cars. <laughs> Maybe they just thought it was a loose ball blowing in the wind. They are nice balls. Select balls, a German company. Produced a Derby Star ball. I think I said this on the comms yesterday for the Bundesliga. So if you're involved in football, you're looking for a decent ball. I can vouch for these. I've just bought, just bought some for my uh, football club that I run back home in Doncaster. And that's a great effort. Keeper had to be alive because it was heading goalwards. Closing stages of this game, both teams can't be happy to go to pens. Surely not. Keeper pressing forward. Danny Grang, you're happy for him to press forward. Not putting the press on. It's no team now wants to make a mistake. I'm sure they'd rather it go to pens and make a mistake, but that's a great ball into the forward man on the Touch line, but couldn't find the pass back to his teammate. So, it's a good interception. He's going to have a strike again, and it's pulled wide. So the ball's gone long, good shot by the keeper. Rolls out and uh, it's got a feel about this game. It's just loosening up from both teams that you feel that maybe there's one more glorious opportunity for one of them to stop this game going to penalties. Who will it fall to? Fall to. So who's brave enough to try and create one final chance that will send them through to the semi-finals tomorrow morning? It looks a bit like the both. Happy for us. Happy for the pens here at the minute. Bravo, bravo. Keeper's gone long. It's too long. It's way too long. Keep 
Harper's come out and punched there, claiming that he handled it outside the area. It's all getting a bit frantic. That's another strike that he's pulled wide. Send it up as a goal kick. And that is it. It's gone to pens. I think Brassoff will be the ones. Maybe Brassoff, actually. And I think Danny Grant will be happy with the second half work. The, saw them get the goal. Brilliant free kick. It takes them right to the edge on terms and into a penalty shootout. So come back to us in a couple of minutes and we will see what these two teams have got from the spot. Three pens each, remember? So, here we go. Penalty kicks, it is. Daddy Grania, in the nets first. And Brasso, take the first kick. Rifle, top corner, one nil. We know, statistically speaking, the team that takes the first pen wins more than the lose. Will it play in their favour? Here's Daddy Granger. Oh, it's a poor pen. Perfect time for the keeper, not a lot of power, not a lot of pace. Reminds me of the Gareth Southgate miss in 96 for England. So now, Brassoff with an opportunity to go to win the lead, and he does squeeze it past the keeper. Two nil. A miss. Here. And the Montenegrins go home. Massive pressure. Oh, he steps 
Son. He misses the pen. He's in the bar. And he bounces out. And he leaves the Montenegrins feeling slightly brassed off. As Brassoff progressed through to the final four tomorrow morning here at Sunny Beach, Bulgaria. Brilliant game if I was to analyse it and say that the best team from the game was the team from Romania, Brassoff. And they're uh, milking this and applauding the vocal support behind the net. So the final scores after 40 minutes was Brassoff one, Daddy Granger one, and in the shootout it was a whitewash, 2 0 to Brassoff. And they'll be back tomorrow morning. Stick with us, 10 minutes. We've got another one for you. Спартак в Арнатуру. Скоро Спартак. После подсадки. После предстагли. Поле, небо, я пак не могу. Уже вроде. Ама ты перегал. По-добрее. Том Бискали. Да, я не знаю, что я не знаю. Да, я Очаквай втори мечки. Какво беше? Комарти Иванов, а Комарти остане. Ангел. Ангел Иванов, пък остане при вас. Дани, ела малко да те видя, ела. Дани, бой. Дани, ела. Ей, Даниеле. Денеславе. Ама има паузи ще вратара. Има паузи ще вратара. Си да качи по-два. Абе, не, не. Сега е да го вижда. Аз си виждам, че е там място, но не може да направиш герой. Познат се, когато направиш към това да сложи. Това не е, това не е, не е, не е, не е, не е, ако не беше си мал, как ще докажеш? Не, 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 не,
С тома наперник, знаеш къде? С тома наперник, знаеш къде? А, храни с винки от човека на закуска. По-тегъв съм, да, той е 110, аз съм 103. Отдай гадни. Браво, 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 и скъпънат, браво. Кей, бай. Браво, и скъпънат. Е, чай, бай, бай, бай. Чай, бай, бай, бай. Браво, Amazing first quarterfinal here in Sunny Beach and our first semi-finalist is Reggio Liriana Brasher from Romania who defeated Dadi Grania of Montenegro after the penalty shootout 1-1 in regular time. We now have the second quarterfinal which proves to be an interesting one between the current champions of Euro Cup Nova Vita Targo Moresh in blue and the Hungary team of Air Energy. After this we will have the final two, the final quarterfinals, three and four, and the semi-finals are tomorrow morning at 10 and 11 o'clock. Good luck to all the teams. So we're one down, three to go. Second quarter-final match here at EMF Euro Cup 2023 in Sunny Beach, Bulgaria. We are today in the second quarter-final match. Energy FC against Nova Vita from Romania. Is it from Hungary? 
energy through 3-3 three, three with Stars of Gora earlier and won 3-2 on pens, but there was pretty impressive in the first half. I got to commentate on the game and there was three, one up. But Gora pulled them back. Energy went on to win the game on pens. They finished first in their group and they're up against Nova Vita, who won 4 0 against Apple Julian Itza earlier in the day in their last 16 tie this morning. They also came first in the group of death with Daddy Grangin, who we've just seen go out on penalties, who finished second. Stars League from England and MS. Hydraulic. So, based on what I've heard, you put Nova Victor as the favourites for the game, but energy have been, well, full of it, full of energy. Since their opening game of the tournament, finishing top of their group, and they'll be coming into this one full of confidence, but they're up against a tough Romanian team in Nova Vita. We're just in brass off from Romania go through to the last four, which will be played here in the morning. 10 a.m. kickoff and an 11 a.m. kickoff here at Sunny Beach as we try to decide the finalists for tomorrow afternoon and the third and fourth playoff match. My first time watching Nova Vita from Romania. I've heard good things. It's been a solid tournament, 100% record so far. Four games from them, four wins, three in the group stage, one in the last 16. They'll be looking to make that five wins from five here against Energy from Hungary. Another top match we've got for you here. At Sunny Beach, and the EMF Euro Cup, so let's get this one underway. And the ball, Nova Vita. Energy just sitting in, sitting deep. Oh, it's another interception. And he's got three Nova Vita players surrounding him pretty quickly. Energy proudly boasts the loudest fan base of the tournament. The travelling wags. They've been brilliant for the tournament, created some super atmosphere up in the stands. Supported their boys all the way and they'll need more of that support this evening. If they're to overcome this tough Nova Vita team from Romania. And they can see the press straight away. Energy quickly back into shape. So, possession now for energy. And just like the main team we've just seen in Brass off there, aggressive in the press, giving energy no time on the ball whatsoever. So again, no time on the ball, keeper collects easy though and energy back in possession. It's been a decent start from both teams. 
Great ball down the wing. Oh, tried to dummy and go across. It took a deflection, but the keeper safely gobbles it up. So energy is sitting in and opting to be difficult to break down and beat. They attempted to do this earlier against Stars of Gora when they had a two goal advantage at 3 1 when they started the second half, but they just couldn't contain Stars of Gora. They that's a loose ball by Nova Vita, and there's a man in the middle who can find him. He opts for the pass, but couldn't quite find his teammate in the middle. Anyway, like I was saying, the, the opt of this tactic earlier in the day, they'll have to do better. You feel if they're going to sit in and be difficult to break down. Good football, good little layer. Nova Vita was aware, awake, alive to the danger. Playing some nice football at the minute, Energy. And Nova Vita, Nova in the game. Good interception. Got new ball boys today down here. So not Peter in possession of the ball. And you need to remain disciplined. He's got locked, but well, there's nobody there. Out for a goal kick. So it's on the ball back. Good early signs this for energy. Having lots of possession. And it's back over Vita. Putting the press. Intercepted, but intercepted. Gone for a switch play there from Nova Vita. So far, this guy's pretty good in the sticks. Favorite keeper of the tournament. Got some terrific saves earlier. Oh, 
What exactly he's been yellow carded for, but he's had a yellow card. Can't tell you that. Challenge and good decision by the referee. Try and work a little bit of magic. He's going to have a strike. And, uh, he will not want to see that one back. As it goes. The ball boy will be off. Trying to retrieve it. Come in, Bluff. Oh, the keeper came for it and was beaten to it by an overreach player and he's still got it. Good defending, good block, good footwork. Oh, beats one, beats two. Surely a booking. Had to be. Brilliant play. Brilliant footwork, he was away. Took one for the team there, but he's earned himself a booking and another great decision by the referee on the far side. Seems to be well in control of this game so far. So another free kick. In Novavita territory. What we're going to do with this one is roll that to his teammate. He's just kicked out, so he's put it behind him. So the, the opportunity's gone, the keeper's gone long. He's found his man on the right wing. Oh, he's putting the press in and energy. Pressing Novavita now. And the floodlights are coming here in the stadium as the Sun is dipping over the hill. <laughs> so it's a loose pass. I know the Vita. But a brilliant start by the team from Hungary. Had the better of the moment so far. <laughs> Clearance there, gone out for a throw in. And it's going to take us to the 11 minute mark. Still looking for the first goal of the game. The corner stands at 0 0. That's a bad pass by the keeper, and he had to redeem himself. Does redeem himself. Spreads himself wide from the shot and turns it behind for a goal, for a kick. So throwing here to Nova Vita is thrown to the opposite side of the pitch. Energy trying to remain in shape. Nova Vita passing and pulling and brilliant effort. Just gone wide. I'm not sure the keeper would have had it covered had it been on target. But they're coming into the game, Nova Vita now. They're having more possession in dangerous areas. And he's come with the outside of the boot, but he didn't quite cut across it enough, and it's been kicked straight out of play, and it's a throw in. And
Novavinks are staying patient. Probing, passing, moving. Trying to pull the energy players out of shape. Looking for an opening. Well read by the defender. Um, but there's a chance. And he's popping about in there. And energy managed to clear. And that is a super bit of footwork. And pass to find his teammate on the right hand side of the field. He's wiggling, he's twisting, he's turning, he's nearly done three or four players. It's a bad challenge though. He's claiming the shoulder, but if the shoulder has moved to your leg, then maybe he's correct, but there's almost a flying leg chop there. Correct decision. Novavita again now. Being patient in the plays, keep popping the ball around nicely. Looking for an opening, may have found one here. He has found one! Told you earlier this keeper is take some beating. He's, that is a super, super save down low to his left hand side. Fingertips and touches it behind for a corner kick. I mean, it's technically a brilliant save. Oh, it's rolled back. And the poor boy's grimacing, let me tell you, we only have one. <laughs> Every single ball he went to get yesterday. And I'm just looking him run behind the Nova Vita goal now. He's took one ball back in and he's off. That's him with the far side of the left camera. And the red top, he's off to get the ball. <laughs> he deserves serious, serious bonus, but he's just gone to run for it. It looks like somebody's thrown the ball in from the outside, so he can come back. Oh, he's back. He's come back. Seen him last night at the end of the game, about 11 o'clock, and I've never seen anybody look as tired in my life. I think we've got it tough. He was here from start to finish, making sure that all the balls were coming back. Brilliant stuff. So free kick. Effort. Wild, it's wide. Nice goal kick. Where is you on the ball? Right hand side. Tries to take the early shot. Around about four minutes left of the first half. Still nil nil. Extremely close game. Both teams looking to break. This deadlock. Both teams are proving a stubborn not to crack. Keeper's gone long. Straight to the hands of the opposition keeper. The pass has been intercepted. So there's around about two and a half minutes left of this second quarter final of the day at the 
EMF, Euro Cup. Both defences are well on top at the minute. And he's managed to keep it in. He's done well. He's still fighting for the ball, but... They have put it back in his ear and he's got a man who's running free to the right hand side. Uh, no for Vita putting the press on. The pace is quickening in from both teams as they try to find maybe a goal to take them in. 1 0 up at half time. It's got along to the back post and out of That is. I have to say, I hate to say this because it's not nice to say, but. In all my time of football, I've never seen a miss from as close range. I mean, he must have been a yard out and he has totally, totally connected wrongly and he's managed to not only knock it over the bar from that angle and that position, he's knocked it out of the arena. <laughs> He will not want that one playing back, and it's one of those clips that one of your mates will save and they'll pop it in a group chat or show it at the pub every now and again when you're out having a beer with your mates and say, what happened here, mate? How the hell did you miss that one? But he did miss it. I thought it was a certain goal. I'm, I'm still, I want to watch it back. I want to see. What exactly happened? It looked like it just... Totally missed time, it. Walked it over the bar. Anyway, you know what it is? It remains. About 30 seconds left of normal time. And both defences are doing super work here. Nova Vita looking for a goal before the break. And can they find it? There's... Oh, again, the keeper, magnificent. It's good football by Nova Vita. Create the space. He has a shot, and you know, most keepers in this tournament, that's beating, but not this kid. Foot across and saved it, and he's here again. It's a save at his near post. Brilliant, brilliant goalkeeping. Kept him in it with a couple of shots and he's brought into use again. And this time he couldn't hold it, but Nova Vita player couldn't take advantage. And we're going to roll into the break at 0 0, I feel. So both teams not giving a lot away. Both teams desperate to get back. For tomorrow morning's semi-final games and it ends nil nil at the break. Brilliant first half football. Don't let the, the lack of goals put you off. It's been excellent. Join us in a few minutes when we uh, kick off the second half.
Second half underway. Energy with the ball. And I want more of the same of what we had in the first half, although coming through with a couple of goals to spice things up a little bit. It's been a brilliant game of football despite the lack of goals. Both teams playing really good football, really good one touch movement. Really both superbly organised. in possession trying to pull and he's out of position but they're putting on the press and shot from distance he's blocked it's out for a Nova Vita throw in their own half and will go again. Attempt to try and find some holes in the energy defense. Energy have a slight change in tactics. The must put a little bit of a press on Nova Vita. And there, Nova Vita returner moving their keeper further up the pitch, trying to seek the opening goal. This quarter final clash. And Nova Vita so far have resulted a lot of having a lot of long shots, given the way energy is set up given how difficult they are to break down in this quarter-final clash and click the ball to the back. It's a brilliant effort and again, the keeper is there with a super one-handed save. Pass it out for a throw. Been the man of the match for me so far, this kid. He's tried to play through his legs to get a bit of space to get away from him, but Hassel and Harry, he's been dispossessed. And the keeper's gone long. It's intercepted by Nova Vita. So 
throwing back to the energy keeper. And Nova Vita will press. And energy uh, looking for an opening. We've gone long, it's been won back by Nova Vita. And it's good footwork, but they've won the ball back, and there's an opportunity. And this is a break on it for Nova Vita. Good footwork, but again, energy are in. Stole the ball. And Nova Vita in on them. It's brilliant defending by both teams. Both, both of them are really disciplined so far in the, in the art of defending. Both teams working hard to create the opening that will lead to maybe the opening goal. And they've gone long for the forward man, and it's, as it bounced Kylie, it's going to be a throw in to energy. And again, going back to the keeper, energy have won a penalty shootout so far in this tournament, and maybe the. The fans and the chances of another one. Taking very few risks at the minute in the, in the forward areas. Keeping a player well deep. Here he is on the ball now. Making sure they've got cover at all time for any Nova Vita counter attack. And that long ball's not quite come off yet, and he's, he's been blocked. And now Nova Vita with a chance with a man over, but goalkeeper is there again to clear, and it's gone all the way down to his opposite number. Nova Vita want to pick up the pick up the pace here. It's gone out. Throwing Nova Vita. So energy again, sitting deep. Don't go too deep. They got caught out with this early. They're allowing a shot. He's had a shot. But with the form of their keeper, energy, they'll be. I think they'll be feeling pretty confident on all shots coming from a, a long distance and again trying to find the forward man, just can't pick him out. Nova Vita again coming forward at pace, they're the ones trying to press the game here and get the opening goal, whereas energy a lot more cautious in the approach. A lot of long ball stuff, and it's oh, it's a forward count him as he tries to flick it to his teammate to his right, but Nova Vita are there with a last ditch interception. Really intriguing, really interesting. Both teams totally different approaches in both parts of the pitch, both in defence and in attack. Nova Vita, very positive, very proactive. Put the press on, out of possession. And when they have the ball, they, they want to get the ball forward as quickly as they can, but not, not just in a long ball sense. They are passing and popping the ball, lovely. Trying to find an opening in the energy defence, whereas energy, when they're out of possession, they'll do this, they'll sit in, they'll sit really deep. It'll be difficult to beat him with the form of the goalkeeper. I mean, he's been outstanding. He's been, he's been the man of the match so far for me. They'll be confident that by 
keeping them at arm's length, the, the keeper in the net will have any long-range effort covered, and then the difference when they get the ball is they're not quite as brave in possession. They're, they're not using it. It's another brilliant save, and he's got to be alive. Oh, and his defender saved him. And what I was trying to say is that when Energy have the ball, they're looking for the long ball. There's, there's less passing in between the lines and down the channels. It's more, it's more long route one stuff, looking for a, to play off the, the target man. Totally different styles of football, but it's intriguing to watch. To see if one of them will have a, the all important breakthrough given the two different strategies. You can see here, pressing with intent from Nova Vita. They want the ball back and they want it back soon. And they want it back as high up the pitch as they can possibly get it. And again, the ball's gone long and it's short. And there's a challenge, advantage played by the referee, good decision. Shot from distance and he's there again. He is like Superman in the sticks. How many will this has pulled off? In this game alone, he could have a highlight reel all for himself from this game. That'd be worthy of any goalkeeping highlight reel you're likely to see. Is it going to be his night? Is it going to be his tournament? You've got a feeling it's going to take something special to beat him. So Nova Vita progressing up the pitch and it's gone back. It just doesn't seem a roof for over no feature at the minute. They have to remain patient. Frustration will lead to mistakes, and mistakes is what ends you'll be looking to capitalize on. So keepers passing to the left hand side, and there's a roar from the defender with his block. He enjoyed himself there. Throw to the back post, and he's beaten! The keeper at the near post, and his resistance has been broken. And he looked for a second that that wasn't going to be the case, but it has been. And now they have to change tactics, they have to push, they have to press to try and find a way back into this game. Yes, baby, yes, baby. Forward play again. Oh, I love that. Love that. Totally unorthodox way of clearing your lines, but it's, it's good. It's worked. It's successful. <laughs> so. Oh, he's got it. Found him. Oh, a brilliant save. He did well there because he must have thought for a second the defender was going to head it clear. Cleared the defender, fell at his feet. Brilliant first touch and he just couldn't lift it above the onrushing keeper to try and tie the scores at 1-1. He's gone out on this side for a Nova. Sorry, energy. Throw in. And they have to push. 
So he got the tackle and he's managed to keep it in play. Or has he not? No, throwing to energy. They were now themselves in need of a goal. Great touch to the right side. Still have the ball, still can't get the ball through to his teammate in the middle. Brilliant defending by Nova Vita. And the keepers had a strike straight down the throat, and the keeper's gone long, but it's long and it's wide. Possession back with energy. Trying to play off the front man, but they missed it. There's a break in there if Novich can find him. It's good closing by energy. Sends the ball out for a throwing on this side. Good movement, good flick, but didn't find his man. Oh, he's unlucky there, just pulled it out of play with him. And he'll be disappointed. More pressure, throwing it home to the keeper. Energy have to push. Time is not on the side anymore. And that's a brilliant ball. He's going to strike the first time. The keeper's out to meet him. And it's brilliant. Dummies the ball. Pulls the attacker into thinking he's going to touch it into touch. And that's it rolled by him. Energy now. More positive. They have to be. That is exactly what they do. They have to do. But that is a super ball. And he's kept it in. Oh, brilliant football. Brilliant football. They beat the press. Played it long. The ball stayed in. And it's a volley cross. A bit too much on it, but brilliant. Nevertheless, it's a lucky play from Nova Vita as a search for the killing or the killer. Second goal, which will surely take the game out of reach of energy. We've given it everything out here to remain in this competition and come back tomorrow morning for the semi-finals. We've gone long again, but it's just wayward. And they have to just remain positive, keep going, keep working. Not over it till it's over. Play to the whistle. We're up against a formidable opponent. Well organised, well drilled. No, we beat from Romania, but they have a, an opportunity where they're throwing this near side and it's go back to the keeper. And is he tempted for a shot? He's edging towards the edge of the his own arm or he tries to dummy it to fool the keeper and the keeper read it. It's gone long. And they're putting the work in, but again, it's, it's brilliant work under pressure. It has to be applauded. Remaining calm, making the right choices. And at the minute, it looks like Nova Vita are going to make it five wins out of five in the tournament. And you have to say on this form, they look favourites for the, for the crown tomorrow afternoon. And 
Jones got space here for the shot. And energy defender gets over, but he can't keep it in. Or can he keep it in? Yes, he can, but he can't keep it under control. And have to keep putting the pressure on because if they don't, the dreams are gone. Good football. It's a block. He's got a man over to his left hand side, he's got a man over to his right hand side. Well, he's gone to his left, he didn't get hold of it fully. Time ticking away, he can't be long left. Good football, good tackle. Over me to go long. And no, Vita made a change and Enzo is trying to capitalise on that. Oh, it's a ball across the box. And he must be inches away from connecting. And it's a corner, it's last chance saloon stuff. He's rolled it out for the shot from distance. It's a good connection, but. Not on target. Oh, it's tense. You can feel the tension out here. Ball's gone long. Keeper wins the head. Throw into Nova Vita. Some disgruntled fans from the energy section, and Nova Vita will take this throw. Going home to the goalkeeper. It's gone long. Finds the pass, it's gone out for a throw. Energy trying to get on with it. And here comes the keeper. And it's gone out. I can't quite work out from my angle whether that's a throw in or a corner. Looks like it's a throw. And is the keeper going to have a dig? He's got an opportunity. He's played it wide. Maybe a last opportunity here. He's took a deflection. Oh, brilliant save. Hits it true. Takes a deflection. Dipping into the, the net. Keeper's equal to it. Another chance. Another block. Throwing to energy. Running out of time. Here's the one more moment for them. Oh, they have got a chance. Oh. And it's rolled out and it's all hands to the post off for Nova Vita and it's an effort and it's sliced and it's wide. It's a goal kick. There's only a bit of pressure there, but the keeper had no choice, and Nova Vita brilliantly still putting on the press. Give him a free kick. Yellow card for time wasting to the Nova Vita player. You wouldn't be surprised, would you, if they find an equaliser from somewhere? Can Nova Vita hold on? Both teams have been brilliant, both teams have given it everything. Both teams want to be back in the morning for the semi-finals. He's rolled it out to the wing. Try to get it across. Oh. And there's the final whistle. And you have to feel for energy. They've gave it everything. They've been super contestants in this tournament and it just wasn't meant to be tonight. The team from Romania were just just 
irresistible at times in terms of how the water would win the ball back. They found a way through in the second half, even though the keeper from Energy was absolutely superb throughout. They found a way past, and it's them that are back in the morning to contest in the semi-final, and they will take some beating, let me tell you. So it's been a good start to the quarter-finals for the Romanians. Two teams from that part of the world through to the semi-finals tomorrow morning. Commiserations to Energy, they can hold their heads up high with a super display. And they'll fight again and they'll be back, I'm sure of that. But tonight, the spoils, the celebrations, and the return trip go to Nova Vita. We will see them tomorrow morning. That's me done for my commentary duties today here at the EMF. Sunny Beach Euro Cup competition, sponsored by EFF. I've been Wayne Riles and I'll be back tomorrow morning for more mini football action in the semi-finals.
So we will have a all Romanian semi-final tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock because Nova Vita Targumuresh, the reigning champion, defeated Air Energy for Hungary one goal to nil. We still have two quarterfinals to go, and right now in front of us there's a, another team from Romania, which is Borussia Sibiu in uh, black and yellow, and they will go up against a Polish team from Gladiator Z Warsaw. The last quarterfinal of the night will be between the Azerbaijan team of Zangezur and the Israel team of Red Meat Tadiran. The semifinals, as I said, tomorrow morning at 10 and 11 o'clock, and then the play final and the final will be in the evening session. Welcome to this quarterfinal. We have a Polish team against the Romanian team. Tolski. I've watched Borussia. Watch out for number 14 for Borussia. He's a particularly skillful player. Reminds me a bit of Sergio Aguero. It's been an exciting couple of quarterfinals, to be honest. A few scores of penalties again. Been a real amazing mini. Our two referees today, very experienced referees. Milos Kocovic, the nearest to the camera, and on the far side, Marko Popovic, and both 
from Montenegro. Marco is one of our most superior, experienced match officials. He's been going to the World Cup days in a year, WMF World Cup. In Ras Al Khaima. He's one of the referees, Marco. Slight play there. Oh, good defending. People who like to come out, like to spread it out, make space up front. Half out of the peel there for a throw in, but it didn't take a deflection. But he should have the ball. Currently, we so really good for the players. Temperature has been scorching hot this week. The beautiful resort of Sunny Beach. Absolutely correct to stop that. It's a decision by the referees. Yeah, we've all been staying, all the staff, the referees and the players. He's staying in a wonderful hotel called the Imperial Palace Hotel in Sunny Beach. I'd highly recommend it. The staff being wonderful there. Being looked after really, really well. Really friendly. The food's wonderful. The hotel's wonderful. The local organisation committee here, supported by the Bulgarian Mini Football Federation, have ran this tournament like a well oiled Mercedes engine. Everything has run smoothly. Wonderful tournament. Away we, away we go with Prusha. And Sen takes the ball, knocks it out wide. I think he's going to end up having to go back. He's pushed it up front. No runners for him, really. Well cut out. <laughs> I often see these keepers. When they won the, um, the penalty knockout in the previous round, the goalkeeper made some wonderful saves. Big goalkeeper, very agile, great with his feet. Watch out for him. All these games have been really, really tight. The talent on show has been breathtaking. Some wonderful players have been here this week. Oh, unlucky. Wasn't really 
on that from Glover Trotty. Torsi from Poland, they won Group C. Go it, Blessing, go it, go it. We'll just wing up each other. Lost one game in a, in a group, he scored 10 goals. That they were in a strong group. You may see the referees with a hand in the air at goal kicks, corners and throw-ins. This isn't, say, it's indirect. Tackle there, no need. I think he did. He did look like he was going to lose the ball there. He bought the foul. Facility here. Close being amazing. Bruce on the attack, you think he's going to have a shot? Oh, that was actually a good save. I think it was going over, an instinctive save from, from the goalkeeper.
Oh, was it good? Five over on Brax. Smattered away. Go, 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 go. Latvia Torsi. Look at a good team. Always strong. Positive football up. Exactly. Happens a lot in really football. These goals you can play. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, cheap foul. Lad gets up, he's free kick. Big day tomorrow. First semi final at 10. Second at 11, then we have a break. We have the plate final. Third and fourth place. Kicking off at 5. And then at 6 30, we have the Euro Cup final. Play! No real movement here from Brochel. Oh, he did well to find him there. Bravo, bravo, He's unlucky. I think he was left footed. That might have gone in. To the back, it was left foot, not as right. Hey, hey. 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 on the attack, going down nowhere, slight push in the back, but nothing. Still being patient, Lucia. Gladiatorsi, defend them well. And on the lead, I think Bruce should be what to go in at least one all. Gladiatorsi, 
We want to keep that or make that margin even bigger. That was close. Very lucky there, the goalkeeper. It's not, not like him that. It's normally really safe with the ball on his feet. Got away with that. We come straight to Bulgaria, the beautiful sunny beach from Romania, where we had the AMF Champions League in a wonderful arena. Oretia, Tony Alexei Arena, where the Montenegrin team won the Champions League, a wonderful affair. A couple of days rest, straight into the Euro Cup. Good ball by the goalkeeper again. Gladiator also goalkeeper. In and on again with one, two. I think he's stretching there, nothing in that. I think he could have released that quicker. There's no one up there, really. I think they need to bring on number seven. I think he's coming on now. There he is. I think he's got 14 on his shorts. He's normally number seven. And I think he's been a bit of a game changer in when he's on. It was a push. There's nobody who's playing number 14 today, but he's a really tricky player. Last game. Remember him well. Good, strong defending. Gladiator, he was 17. Strong. Still touch there. Oh, oh. Opportunity. It can easily be going in at half time, 2 1 up. Really? Gladiator Saucy. Count the blessings there. Good football again. At a Polish team. to make really Marco Popovic the referee saw no out and we have half time Gladia Tosi one Borussia nil
probilo. Vidio palin ti diagonale, ba. A i ko Mark. E trči tebi, jo Mark. A? Trči ko Mark, ali. Ja ko trči od tamo tebi, da, kako ne trči. Second half underway. Good defending stood there. And give away for Coach running on the pitch is no good there. Should have got a warning. Sitting 
incredible, really. Did say he might come out fast in the second half. That's exactly what he's done. Handball spotted by both officials, very clear. Teams out of four in the semi final. Everyone knows the Romanians are a powerhouse of mini football. That's a nice little body turn there. Good shape. Oh, that's a lucky and straight play. Silly, centro. Game's got a bit flat here. I think they'll be wary of the goalkeeper. Showed what he could do earlier. Game's far from over. Marco! Marco! 
And Sergio Aguero look alike. Great little player. But it's far from over here. Gladiator tie of a strong team. Referee's paid the bounces, little shirt tug. Great feet. Nothing there. And absolutely whacked out of the pit. For a corner to Glad Shorty. The routine there. Come off. Marco! 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 Bacci trainer is there, and he's there. Come on, sit A very good team here, I must admit. Spotted them early on. The little Sergio Aguero look alike in the middle of the park. It's been absolutely outstanding. Two more goals today. And the attack again, right down the middle. Square going to go across the box. Oh, never quite found him. One back. I think he's going to have a pop. And he does. Just the game. Come on, 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 come on,
by Marco Popovic, the referee of the far side. I think you just want to keep the game going here when you're 5-1 up. Good feed by the goalkeeper. He's left a bit too late to start pushing up. I think he should have done it a good six or so minutes with some pressure on, but they know more than me. Torsi team, good team. I just, don't, I just don't think they perform as well as they could, but they are up against what I would say is one of the best. Bine, 
Keeping the tempo so high. They could just stroll around really, save their energy. They're not. It would be interesting to see if they scored now, I must admit. I can't see them getting five goals in a couple of minutes. Performance by Borussia. Borussia seven. That is Tosio. What?
Finals after Borussia Sibiu defeated Gladiators in Warsaw. Now we are getting ready for the final quarter final of the evening between Red Meat Tadiran in black and Zangezur in red. So it's Israel versus Azerbaijan. May the best team win. Enjoy.
Both of these teams were runners up in their groups. Zanzibar beat Melchior on penalties in the last 16. They were run up in Group A. And red meat from Israel, the runner up. A group, and they let in 10 goals. Could be an interesting game, this. In fairness. So Zanzugu, a very skillful team, play great football. I think he just struggled in the, in the group stages. But they certainly got a strong foot performance in the last round. Crucial to this fantastic brand of Sans is all goalkeeper schools. Hey, 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 hey,
Very fast here. Sounds easy. In the red. It's almost like an extra man the way these play their football, they play their mini football, that like goalkeeper. <laughs> Teams here. Red meat are particularly good. Come 
Nothing comes from it. On the ball to red meat. Him here. There is. It's his only option, really. Things are. It's not some really good football getting played here. You know the game isn't the best game in the world. Well pressed down, strong, but ten. I think fans. Look, you can stay his feet. Nelly, come off. And the set piece didn't come off as well as it as they wanted. Yeah. 
ya. Unlucky. Just looking for someone to get a toe on it in a box. He is. Now he starts to press So, so, Esther, so, Esther, so, That's another lovely ball by the goalkeeper there. Not impressive the movements up top from both teams really. They're not creating those opportunities. I think my goal is going to come from a mistake rather than anything else. Be cautious. He's having a go. No, he's not. There's not movement up there, isn't there? Forces him to shoot. Good defensive shape by Red Meat. What I said about that mistake. I think that's how things are going to come from. Let's go. Off we go. Red meat still looking. Tight defending. There might be shot coming on again here. Oh, it's going to go in, I think. Oh! <laughs> Referee's did well to keep up with play there to see that. But that's what I was saying. I just feel a mistake's going to be the first goal here. People are just a bit. They're a bit tight, really. Oh, see, they're just not settling here. 
They're making mistakes they wouldn't normally make. They're a bit tense. Can you make So, is, is that good photo? Let's say about a goalkeeper. Half time, tight half time that. For sure. <laughs> if, if, if I, if I, 
show you something from I, I saw it. It's pretty. Not good. Yeah. And I can see that another photograph. The, the girl that is Another slow start. Penalties. Seen a lot of gold being scored from throw ins. An awful lot. Plays. It doesn't look like it's just two players coming together. Well, there's any foul there. Both. 
Well, things that the players okay. Fast pace the game on this. I'm not sure that's because. Be good at closing the ball back. The way off target again. We just haven't got the range. 
Got a problem with the goalkeeper here. Not sure what it is. Oh, he actually changed the goalkeeper. I've only got one player close between them, I think. Bravo, 
Good footballing teams. Oh, it's good shot. Blocked. That ball there. They're working hard. Does he fancy a chance? Does he go for glory? No, he's not. Oh, 
Josh. That's he hasn't seen it. <laughs> Very different game here. Like it says earlier, many goals have been scored from throwing. Oh. It's bouncing off here. I could have hit a hand or anything. No one's in any. It's unusual, he's been good, he's got a really nice left foot, that guy. Both teams very cautious. He's been chipping over this a couple of times. They're not going to get it. Goes to penalties. to go out of any competition great for the winners terrible for the for the losers but both these goalkeepers you made really, really good Zanzibar bar went through on penalties in the previous time Thank you. 
officials will be tossing the coin to see who takes the first pen. And now it's time for the first penalty to take it. Can it be a great new year? Israeli team. Israeli's going first. Just like he's a left footed swamp. Goalkeepers normally pay attention to what foot these pens are delivered with. Yeah, we said before, the coaches aren't allowed. It's only the players. Trying to get away with it there. The rules are going to be ejected too. It's well done by Catalan there. The referee from Moldova. Both these match officials had good games. That's about to add a little bit of pressure onto the goal. Oh, no, no problem there. No problem there. Pressure on. Sancho. Another left footed penalty. Yes! Oh, oh. That was nice. Nicely struck. They've got a score. They've got a score. Well done. Good finish. He scores this. It really is a happy new year. Right foot to this time. I think he's going to go down the middle. Just my guess. And he does. And the goalkeeper reads it. You'll find that happens. So the chat's gonna think it's it's safer going down the middle. The evidence is there, but that doesn't prove it. He's gotta score this. Gotta score it. So we get all square, go to sudden death. Coach again coming on the pitch. Sudden death it is. Another left foot of penalty take here. Honestly, these have been great pens. Pressure pens. Both teams have covered this brilliantly. I like this player. I like how he plays. Oh. 
Putting away. Well done, young man. Well done. Pressure here. Temperature has dropped. It's quite cold here now. It's almost like back in England. The temperature is still sky high on that pitch. Another pressure penalty. Zanjabor. Zanjajo. Take it. Honestly, I'm impressed. Well done, number 32. Well done from a goalie too. Goalies is just as important as anyone else in this game and when it comes to penalties even more so. Congratulations to them. 